In this video, learn what a deductible is, when you apply it, and how to explain it to the insured, starting now. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Exactware Training. You know, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Let's get you an unfair advantage in hiring and closing claims and get you certified as an Xactimate expert right now at the link in the description below. A feature of um, insurance kind of in general, and obviously in the context of, of property insurance is the concept of a deductible. And a deductible is kind of a way for, and I haven't really found this in practice to be totally true because whenever I try to ask, request a high deductible, they say, well, it's only gonna change your premium by $9. Like, what doesn't make any sense? Um, it's supposed to be, the deductible is supposed to be the part that, that you as a property owner wanna take on for yourself if, if you do have a claim, right? Having a higher deductible um, can, discourage people from um, filing claims, right? Because if it's, you know, like, I mean, I have a $5,000 deductible, and if I have a, you know, my $9,000 claim, is it really worth it to file a claim and have my rates go up for 4,000 bucks, right? Um, and, and being a consumer of insurance with auto and homeowner's insurance, and I've got liability insurance and all kinds of stuff for this place, um, when I say, well, or, or health insurance or whatever, like, well, if I have a high, if I keep a high deductible, what's that gonna do to my rate? And it generally doesn't do anything to your rate. So it's almost like, well, why bother having a high deductible? That's, that's been my experience anyway. But the deductible is the part of the claim that the policyholder takes on. You know, from a philosophical standpoint, I'm not sure I see the point of, do, of having deductibles. Um, if you're paying a premium every month, or every year uh, for the insurance company to, to, you know, pay for stuff that happens to you that you, know, you claim for covered perils or whatever. Why not just pay for the whole thing? Why have a deductible? I don't know. It, it could be that it's, you know, there's, I mean, they, sure they save a certain percentage of money for that. And having any kind of a deductible probably discourages like little tiny like nickel and dime claims. Um, but, you know, is what it is. But long and short, deductible is the, insureds part of any claim that they have, right? Um, when we apply the deductible, the deductible is usually, or should be applied as the last thing, right? When we talk about a, a coverage analysis, we'll go into this more depth, but you have your, you know, you have your RCV, right? Um, which is the grand total for the whole, you write up everything that's, that's could possibly be damage that's, that you could pay for that's covered. Um, then you apply depreciation, right? Then you apply limits, policy limits, and then you apply the very last thing would be deductible, right? So your deductible is the thing that, you know, if the actual cash value, uh, if the RCV is 10,000 bucks, the ACV is um, 5,000 bucks, and you have a $500 deductible, then their first check will be for $4,500, right? That makes sense. Pretty straightforward. Um, explaining the deductible to the homeowner is really as simple as saying, you know, um, you really don't have to explain this to most people because it's they, they may not understand a lot about insurance, um, but the deductible they do understand for the most part. It's just this is your part of the claim, right? This is the part that you agreed to when you bought your insurance, you know, you because they'll say, well, $2,500 deductible. You know, unless it's like a, a mandatory like windhail deductible, like a one percent or three percent or whatever it is, you just have to be like. And even in that case, it's like this is the part. You know, you're living in a place where you know hail happens every single summer, and everybody gets a new roof every single summer, and the insurance companies can't afford to do business here unless they unless you take on some more of this risk. If you're going to live here, you're not going to word it like this. But this is the the thought. You know, this is kind of the the mindset, I guess. Um, if you're going to live in a place that has high risk, then you need to take on some of that risk yourself um, because we can't give you like, you know, for for a person living in Florida where there's frequent hurricanes versus somebody living in, you know, I don't know, we'll say, what's a place that has mild weather? You know, Hawaii, you know, aside from wildfires, obviously. Um, for somebody living in Hawaii where they just don't generally have that much in the way of like severe weather, 
the rates will be different for different reasons, but if you if it was a straight apples to apples, Florida is going to be more expensive than Hawaii because of the higher risk, right? They're probably going to be more expensive in Hawaii because of the cost of living and whatever, but that's a different story, just as a straight straight line comparison. So we're talking about the deductible with the homeowner. This is the part that that you agree to when you have when you you know when you buy a house and you have to, you have to have homeowner's insurance. You know if you have a mortgage, um, the deductible is your part of of the claim, right? And you know there's there may be like they used to have like I mean I've seen like hundred dollar deductibles like you got you go to grandma's house and she's in a little teeny tiny like post World War II house. And she's sitting there in her little rocking chair and you're explaining her claim to her. And, oh, your deductible is a hundred bucks. She may have had, she may have lived in that house for 50 years and got a hundred dollar deductible 50 years ago and then just kept it, right? She's grandfathered in. But if you go and buy a house right next door to hers and buy insurance from the same company, the lowest possible deductible that they may have is 500 bucks or a thousand bucks, right? Unfortunately, sometimes we have to say no on claims. Learn about exclusions in this next video right here.